I want to congratulate you on your many recent successes. <laughs> I've been following them with uh, great and uh, particular interest. <laughs> As uh, all of us in our community have. Well, thank you. And um, the Olympic trials, are they coming up soon? Yes, sir. Uh, a little under five weeks. Oh, well, no doubt you hope to qualify <laughs> and take part. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, sir. Even under the Hitler regime? On behalf of Mr. White and his organization and the Negro community across America, I hope you don't go. But this is the Olympic Games. I, I, I mean, Je Jesse been training for this his whole life. Jesse, you're the best. You have a chance to strike a powerful blow. I know that it must sound hypocritical for any American to talk about racial bigotry in, in other countries, but that is the whole reason we must not go to these games. We've got a chance here to show our solidarity with the oppressed people of Germany. It's all a part of the same great hatred. We can make those in power aware of their moral obligation to fight against the wrongs that we Negroes suffer right here at home. You think it's going to make a damn bit of difference? He stays. They ain't going to notice. He goes. He can come back with a draw from the medals, and they will hate him even worse than before. JC. Do what you want now. Understand me? Ain't gonna make no difference no how. Did you run Mr. Davis? Do I? Oh, uh, not that. <laughs> no. Do you? You know, out there on that track to free all this. Moment that gun go off, can't none stop. Not color, not money, not fear, not even hate. There ain't no black and white, there's only fast and slow. For those 10 seconds, you are completely free. Now, here you come telling me I can't do it that I'm letting down my race if I go. What's that supposed to do for me? God gave you a great gift, Mr. Owens. Maybe he can tell you what to do with it. 